up guys black wild japan here haven't made a video in quite some time so i thought i would make a little video today um i'm just heading over to the junkyard i'm in the ls 400 right now there is a first gen gs 300 one of the jzs 147 gs 300s in the junkyard and from the pictures it looks pristine and i'm trying to get a few things off it so we'll see what we can uh salvage from it and uh yeah i just thought i'd make a little video on uh my little trip today so um gs 300s and lexus in general don't really show up in the junkyards at least around here in portland area so you go as fast as you see them you know if you need something off them you try and go as soon as they're there so you can try and grab whatever it is you need um, so yeah, right now I'm just heading over to my work real quick at Toyota to grab some of my tools and then we're going to head to the junkyard. So stay tuned. Finally, pulling up to Pick and Pull Sherwood and it looks kind of busy. Let's see where I can park. Finally made it guys. Pushing my wheelbarrow. Push my wheelbarrow out to the spot. It's hard to do this with one hand, so I will update you when I get there. Here's the yard. Oh, shit. Just noticed this Mark II Supra with a 5M in it. No transmission, though. I was wondering, because I think these come with W58s. Yeah, there's no tranny. Yeah, but the 5-speed ones are W58s, I believe interesting there it is dude still has the 2j we're gonna take off this bumper try and grab all the all the little frame pieces like this and stuff now we're gonna look calipers aren't seized oh man this thing's beautiful Ooh, baby This is a gold mine guys this is a gold mine all right guys got the grill perfect condition grill maybe a couple little nicks here and there ours is actually um really faded around here i know this emblem's faded but i think these are yeah you can switch out the emblems but ours is really messed up, so I grabbed that. And then I'm gonna start taking off this bumper and start grabbing the um, support pieces that I need. And then if I have time, I'll probably grab these calipers as well. And the diff is still in here, but I think the diff might be a bitch to pull, so I might just leave the diff. It's kind of a bitch to pull by yourself. But I mean, this car is in just immaculate condition. All right, guys, just want to update you on progress here. Grill's out, that headlight's out. Bumper's almost off. Gonna do this side now, take that headlight as well. Get the bumper off, and then I basically need all this metal core support piece that goes along here. I think it's like, I think it also is in this bumper. So I'll take that as well. <laughs> And yeah, so we're actually doing pretty good on time. We've only been here for not even a half hour yet, and we got a lot of parts out. So I'm gonna keep going on this guy. I'm sorry I can't really film, it's hard, but yeah. Well guys, while pulling this caliper off, I noticed this. Looks like it's a love letter from a guy to a girl. If only we knew what we had before it was gone, the unforgettable. I don't care, baby. First, I want to tell you how much you've made an impact on my life. You've shown me more than I could have even asked for or dream about. You've made me. You've made me. There are no words to describe the feelings you gave me. LOL. I've had the happiness, happiest times with you and the best memories. That will never leave my mind. Okay, anyways. I got the calipers off. I don't even need the brackets since I already have brackets. I just need the caliper because mine are C's. Both headlights. Both of these... Uh, frame supports this middle little headlight frame support the grill i think i'm gonna call it there i don't need anything else i'm gonna grab these two calipers 
um, and we should be good. And I'm hoping this doesn't run me a big fucking ticket, but we'll see when we get up to the counter. I might have to put the calipers back if it's like ridiculous money. Anyways, this thing was looking mint when I came here and then I took everything that was mint off of it. So if anyone needs some gold parts, there's still fender, doors, a lot of interior stuff down here at Sherwood Pick and Pull. The bumper's still pretty much good. The fog lights were good. All right, I think I'm done here for the day. Two headlights, two calipers, just the calipers, no brackets. These bumper supports, this uh, headlight slash bumper support, and the grill. Um, let's see how much this cost us. And this car looks completely different from when I came in. Okay guys, here's the damage. 127 and she didn't even charge me for the grill. Most of the prices are all in core fees because if you, because like the headlights have a core, the calipers I got have a core. So, and then you got to pay environmental fee for 10 bucks. So 127 really isn't that bad, but that's what we ended up with today. So yeah, awesome. I'm going to be able to get the GS, RGS fixed back up. The front end damage will be no more. The caliper should work again. And it should be drivable and fucking good to go. It's going to be awesome, guys. Stay tuned for more Blackwater videos at blackwater.jpn on Instagram or blackwaterjapan on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.